We're now at the bargain bins. I am tired as hell, heck, and shit ass. Uh, it was really cold this morning, like 50 something. That's cold in Texas, guys. <laughs> uh, they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. We're gonna get this party started, try out this new little uh, strap camera method thing, and then we'll see how it goes. The line is currently out the door, so. <laughs> I guess it's going to be one of those seriously busy days. That's absolutely horrifying, but I like it. It's really hard to record on that little mount that I have, so I'm not going to do that. And I got some American Girl dolls, so hopefully those will be worth some money. Elvis Presley. Yeah, I think, I think just holding it like this is going to be the best bet. Kind of cool. Wait a minute. Girls talk too much. Yes, girls talk to them. Boy, if you don't get. Got a tin farm. That's pretty cool. I don't know if there's any animals down here. Probably not. It looks like. It looks like there's a lot of uh, books and CDs in this whole little section over here, so hopefully I find something cool. Look at that. Oh shit, that looks like Back to the Future almost. It's a badass little Lego car. I need to make a little... Yeah. Put the Legos in there. Once you find one, you're probably gonna find more. That's pretty cool. Look at that. That's nice. What the f Suck. Oh no. I don't like it. Oh yeah. Eastern Unlimited. Hot Wheels. Yep. 90s Batman. Pirate Ology. Alright. Not sure what that's about, but. Looks interesting. Sorry guys if it's super loud today. There's a ton of people here. You saw the lines. Hell yeah. Spring wrap. Those are dope. And they sell for a lot too. Is this an American girl? Adam Alexander. I don't know. I just see dolls and I see price tags. From all the other ones I've sold for like 20, 30 bucks. So if I can get at least 10 bucks for some of these dolls, I'm cool with that. A tape? Brand new tape too. Oh, there's a bunch of crafting supplies in here. That means there's probably... Nothing important! Yeah. New. Brand new. Legos. I don't care what it is, as long as it's sealed in the package. I'm down. I drink coffee for your protection. Anybody want coffee? Who wants coffee? Does anybody want coffee? Who wants coffee? What the fuck is going on, man? I got you want, you want coffee? Some, some middle-aged mom would love that. Uh, sometimes these are good too, weather controllers. Is that a filter? Oh yeah, it is. Dude, today is good. Today is real good. Got a bunch of jackpot items today. And even if the pile looks intimidating, like a bunch of seamstress shit, dig in there. Oh, look at that. Oh, is it? Yep. Um, dig in there anyways, man. Because most of the time, there is some good stuff hiding underneath. Because all this stuff gets dumped on top of each other from every bin of every style. So every single thing is worth looking into. I'm not trying to lecture you guys, but I'm just saying, this is good shit. Oh yeah. Got a Hot Wheels game. Ultimate Alliance. And uh, I see some more. Oh yeah, here's the uh, second disc I think. Perfect. Damn. That was sharp, whatever the hell that was. Classic car collection. Dang, that cut my glove wide open. You gotta watch out here. I don't even know what the hell that was, but that really could have jacked me up. Let's 
some uh, Pokemon cards in here. Rotary cutter. Nice. Tim, I gotta go to the car and get new gloves now. Look at that. A whole ass arrow. <laughs> I don't have a bow, but god damn it. I don't have a bow, but I guess I can. I'm gonna. Sh I'm gonna shit myself. Oh, look at that. Captain Power. That's cool. I like those old Mattel VHSs. Maybe there's more. Uh, pick up TV remotes when you can. Uh, I've been selling TV remotes for anywhere from $15 to $30 a piece recently. And uh, that's pretty good for something that's really abundant. Uh, some people find those old TVs and then they're trying to not have to press everything manually. So the remotes come in handy. It doesn't matter how old it is. It's totally useful for somebody. The whole drop down hitch kit. That's, that's really good. Those hitch kits can go anywhere from, you know, 100 to 200 bucks. Excuse me. Wii Sports. A whole bunch of cords all piled together here. So, when it gets like this, it's almost not worth even grabbing. Despicable Me fart gun. I think that's what that is. I remember those selling new for almost 50, 60 bucks when the movie came out, so might still have a, a price on its head. Kind of cool. Roadrunner. A penguin. Cat dog. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Plus section. Ratatouille. But it has Nintendo on it. Fling Smash. I don't know, but it's Nintendo. It's an old uh, General Mills doll. 70s. Probably 75, 74. Oh, what's this? I saw Tommy. Oh, look at that! Vintage Little People and Vintage Playmobil. Hell yeah. Look at this freaky shit. 1969. I think I just saw 69. No. That's 6'9". Got a choker, a little chain on the back. There was some freaky shit, I'm telling you. That's a good find. Vincent Almond Trick. I just sold one of these guys for about 50 bucks. And this one doesn't have his <gasps> I am naked. His ass. Uh, this one doesn't have any pants. Also, this guy looks like a wrestler. He's missing an arm, there's no markings, but he's like heavy. So, I might be missing out on, on that, whatever that is. I'm gonna try to find Mr. Pants' pants. I need to get the other Dad, I'll find them. They're probably blue. Blue or gray. Whew, I give up. Excuse me, excuse me. I found a shitload of more shitload of more. Okay, grammar. I found a bunch more remotes and another Alexander doll. This one's 1967. Ah. What the fuck? That's weird. What kind of doll has it on there? It's a 1961. That might be worth some money, but I'm gonna try to keep that baby dick out of the, out of the camera. Lost in space. It's like a like a finger puppet. And I also found these too. It's cool. You can't beat free mailing supplies. 
Also, I got this uh, foot Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy. Not sure what it is, but it's from 88, so. Oh, sorry. I'm grabbing all these suckers. Three bubble mailers. Huh. It's gotta be, yeah. A lot more. 25 buckling coins. And they have, oh, thank you. It's a Power Rangers. It has a bunch of these coins in them. Not sure if those go to anything else, but it's still pretty cool. You see fish food. I see free food. Look at this. That's kind of sad. It's the photon box. But none of the uh, the pieces. It's the small set. It's gonna be this one right here, the challenge set. Dang, that's so cool. Well, if I find it, I don't know. Wish me luck. PS3 controller. Hopefully that gunk's on the uh, outside of the package. Everything at this point has just been rushes, so I'm just gonna show everything when I get home. It's just a little bit easier that way, and. I don't have to fight and record at the same time. Look at that. <laughs> the last, the very last thing I found in the day. This is about a hundred bucks, man. Big old 2010 AT-AT. Ooh. Bam. Okay. Now I'm officially on my way home. <laughs> so on Sundays, I think that's exactly what I'm gonna start doing. I might do do, 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 do. I might be doing two parters, which means flea market at nine, eight or nine, after I'm done, hit the bins. Whatever the case may be, uh, stay tuned because I gotta get all that shit out of my car. Okay, okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit on your level, eye to eye, ear to nose, mouth to, to foot, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it, there it goes. All right, I was really white for a second there. <laughs> You know, because I'm tan. Anyways, so I'm going to show you the highlights of what I got today. I spent $115 at the flea market, and then I spent $28 at the bargain barn. So it's a total of about $150. Bucks. Um, I didn't do the math there. So if, uh, if I spent a little bit more at the flea market, it's give or take. In this little pile right here, that's it. That's it for the whole flea market. I'm going to be carrying this around because it's charging my phone. Because uh, I'm irresponsible and I don't charge my stuff before filming. So, just this right here, this section and this one Scooby-Doo Lego, that's all I got for the flea market. And I spent like 115 bucks. That's why I like going to the bargain barn. Because I can be a hoarder for a lot a lot cheaper. <laughs> um, so I got all that stuff. I just showed you all that. Uh, and then for the gaming section of stuff that I got at the uh, uh, bargain bin, I got this little retro plug and play. Got some basic games. Just basic stuff. Uh, I always pick up controllers. Got a PS3 controller, uh, Xbox 360, uh, you know, basic shovelware. This is just stuff that I like to sell with other stuff. I separate it like this because I take pictures of my Instagram on this level. Uh, here's my toy section. This is what I got for toys. Also, remotes. I can't stress this enough. They're good stuff to pick up. Just look them up. Um, this is complete. It's a whole racing track by Aurora. And that one is uh, definitely worth picking up. This is a 1976 Hello Kitty. Uh, I think it's I think it's a house, but it almost looks like an organizer. I picked it up anyways just because it was cool. I got this Captain Power VHS. It's uh, I think it's for a toy or a video game. I'm not sure. Uh, this is TMNT, uh, 1988, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Brain Waves. These are always worth picking up. I already picked up one last time. I was at the bargain bin. Omni Tricks, uh, Minecraft stuff. A bunch of Legos. Um, this one, man, I wish this was sealed, but I goofed up. That was my fault. Uh, this is sealed. Uh, this is Duplo. This is sealed. That's a whole kit. Found a bunch of uh, Legos. Um, the accessories. I always put these together, and then I sell them as a lot. I got this Lego car when I was at the bins, but I, I don't know what this is for. For some reason, I was thinking Jurassic Park, but then I saw that the wheels went inwards like this. And then I was like, okay, this is either a custom car or Back to the Future. I don't know. I just 
just goofing off there. And then over here, we got a Playmobil, like literally Playmobil out the ass. Um, I gotta stop picking up Playmobil because I haven't sold any Playmobil. I haven't gotten rid of any Playmobil, so I'm gonna stop picking those up. 2010 ATAT. This is foot for comparison. Very big. And I found another one up there. I don't know if you can see it. And I thought he was big. No, no, no. He bigger. Uh, World Industry truck uh, trucks. Pretty cool. Uh, I always pick up pins and patches when I find them. I got a lot of people who like those. Uh, bubble mailers. Super easy to ship stuff. I always get breast pumps. Um, vintage binocular holder. Case. Thing. Pretty cool. Uh, somebody made this holster. Real leather. Real nice. Uh, timing light. Uh, vintage reel. This I love Beanie Baby sign. That's cool. I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, nice metal sign. This made the trip. This is a uh, laser hair remover, and it still works, and it burns. It burns real bad. Real bad. Uh, I've already sold one of these, and then the obvious plushies that are, you know, easy cops. Uh, this is an Alexander doll, Madam Alexander. Uh, she is a real cutie, and uh, she's from 1961. Uh, I've seen some of those on the higher price chart. So I picked her up just for shits and giggles, but I don't know if I'm gonna end up selling her. These are what you always see in like those old movies and shows, these old Webley clock, or Webley, is it Welby? Welby, Welby clocks. It's missing a lot of these spikes. I didn't see that when I picked it up. So I'm gonna remove two of those at the top, that way it's even, and I'll actually probably keep that. Um, not like insane stuff today. But I mean, definitely what I spent 150 bucks. I already made it back all of it on the uh, point. I made it all back on the hair remover. And I mean, the can I mean, the money's here. It's just a lot of sorting and a lot of working. And as always, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, there will be more videos. It just takes me a lot because I got school and work and it's my period next month and oh.